church and say, Amazing Grace. Everyone's going to die. By the way, how many of y'all have eaten at a restaurant? Can I just stop and say how strange the rules are right now? I want to understand how this virus works. So when you walk in, you got to put your mask on. Sadly, I've got two. You walk in, you got to put your mask on. You sit down, take your mask off. See, apparently the virus is actually connected to elevation. Now, remember, this is all about science. This actually may not be elevation. I think it's, it, it's that there are hormones that are released in your thighs when you're sitting. So you can sit at the table and there's no virus being transmitted. But if you stand up, put the mask on! Listen, let's be clear, this is a dangerous virus. But these collectivist status, okay, now they're saying everybody can get immunized. We can have herd immunity everywhere, and we're going to wear masks for the next 300 years. And by the way, not just one mask, two, three, four. You can't have too many masks. How much virtue do you want to say? You know, the U.S. Capitol has giant fences with razor wires and 5,000 National Guard standing out front. Because the Democrats are convinced that political theater. Let's be clear, this is not about security at this point. This is about political theater. Half the country is in a horrible debate. And they're going to turn the capital into a military outpost in Baghdad just to have their compliant media echo that there. But do you know what terrifies every one of these states? Liberty is powerful, persuasive. Liberty is fun. Now, last week, we lost the great Rush Liberty. I was so blessed and so fortunate to call Russia for it. Russia understood. You know, before there was Hannity, before there was Tucker, before there was Ben Shapiro or Stephen Crowder, before there was Donald Trump, there was Russia. And before there was Section 230, there was something called the Fairness Doctrine, which gave leftists in Washington the power to silence views they didn't like. We got rid of the Fairness Doctrine, and Rush Limbaugh started by going on 1 a.m. station. And then a second AM station, and then a third, and then a fourth, and then a fifth, and the voice of liberty spread like prairie fire. And let me tell you right now, in Los Angeles, there's some skater kid who's 19, who's called the tip and she can cool the elected socialist man. Listen to hear a message. Wait a second, these guys don't want me to speak. They have fun, do what I want.